Well, next at 10, it is something many adults struggle with, and now a growing number of children are fighting the battle of the bulge. One in three children is overweight or obese, and the CDC calls it an epidemic with no clear solution. The night team's Andy Choi has the story of one local family whose recipe for health is one we can probably all learn from, Andy. Absolutely. Sarah and Eric, earlier tonight at 6, we met the Wharton family of Madison, putting a local face on childhood obesity. In part two of our series, the Whartons, with the help of Dean Clinic, share the warning signs to look for and the small changes in life that make a big difference. Balance the enthusiasm of an eight-year-old with a growing problem among children in our community. Now, what is this? Then this is like a schedule. And you'll learn quickly, weight loss isn't a game for Kylie Wharton. At just more than 100 pounds, the second grader is nearly double the average weight of girls her age. Kylie is part of a growing trend of young ones battling obesity. I think she saw mom struggle with a weight problem, and I don't think that she wants to have a weight problem also. Kylie's mother, Jennifer, has endured her own weight loss battles. I didn't want her to have to see a mom you know, coming to school to pick up her daughter with a fat mom. And that was, you know, a very emotional thing for me. And emotions play a huge role in Kylie's journey as she recalls an encounter with a classmate in school. At gym class, this girl, she was in second grade. I was only in um, first grade. And she said, you're a big fat pumpkin. And I didn't like it. Any obese child is going to have some poor self-esteem and probably go through some depression. They, these are the kids who are teased by their peers, um, and they're the ones that come in feeling bad about themselves. And so there is a huge psychological impact to this, and, and trying to find the right balance of when you're ready to, they're ready to talk about or ready to make changes, um, it's a, it's a, it can be a very um, uh, touchy situation. Kylie's pediatrician, Dr. Michael Trias, says depression is just one of several problems associated with weight gain. This is a multifactorial problem that uh, there isn't one easy solution for. So it's, it's a problem that, that uh, takes a lot of hard work and, and uh, commitment to, to, to change. Doctors at Dean Clinic want parents and kids to think about the choices they make during mealtime where learning childhood obesity may be linked to other diseases such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, even asthma, and the list goes on. We don't want it to get to the point where they're teenagers and have already developed bad eating habits and lack of exercise. Whole wheat bread instead of white bread. The Whartons don't use the word diet. We call it, what do we call it? Eating healthy. And whether she's eating out or staying in, Kylie is the one in charge. Jicama is, it's a vegetable and it's half potato, half apple. How old are you? Eight. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Whether your child is 8 or 18, doctors say parents need to be willing to make those life-altering changes themselves. I think if the parents do these things, it's more likely the kids will follow. And uh, so I really have to, to get the, the parents on board because they're the ones who, who take care of uh, the things at home. They, they're the ones that bring in the food at home. They're the ones that schedule the activities. Viva Las Vegas. While there may not be one single recipe for health, the Whartons are learning the pursuit of a healthy child is a motivation universally shared. How important is it for her to be happy? 100%. And I think she's very, very happy where she is right now. And like many girls, Kylie has a variety of aspirations. She listed three possible careers for me, veterinarian, meteorologist, I think we can help her with that. <laughs> then she shyly mentioned supermodel, and it was the way she said supermodel that seems so indicative of how several overweight kids feel, that their weight is what's keeping them from dreaming big. While the ultimate goal of our series this year is to help kids in our community lose weight, the bigger picture includes instilling the confidence in these kids to move forward in a positive direction. Oh, what a wonderful story, and a big thank you, too, to the Wharton family for telling that story. Absolutely. I, I had to it. keep asking, Kylie, are you eight years old? Yeah, no You got the maturity of someone twice that age. And the drive as well. 
Big future for her. Beautiful girl, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Andy. All right.